Hey guys, this is a video I'm making for perhaps uh, the new players regarding gear changing macros. Um, for this to be applicable to you, uh, you need to have at least one piece of uh, PV uh, one type of gear. Um, well, more than well, two pieces of gear of the same type. Um, one for PVE and one for PVP, and perhaps you have multiple sets already. Now, to bring up the macro window, uh, the default key is U. So press U to bring it up, and this list, if you have not made a macro before, will be empty, so don't worry about it. To create a new macro, um, click on the new button here. Uh, here you give it a name, give it a description if you like. Select an icon appropriate for the macro that you are writing. And here um, is where you enter the macro commands. And the command that we will be using today, as perhaps you can you have spotted already, is quick bar. Now, uh, you just give it um, now quick bar command. You, you can see here requires three um, arguments. The first number refers to the role. So, uh, let's say I want to use sleep arrow. Um, the command would be two one two. Um, now the two refers to the second row. One refers to the page of the quick bars, and the two refers to uh, the item number from the left. So this will be one slice arrow to sleep arrow. So that's just an example. Uh, to get this, these macros working, you need an empty page, and you may need more than one because he only got two sets. Um, I have placed my PV, PVE gear that I'm wearing right now on the bottom, and the PVP gear I have uh, some on the row above, and the rest that didn't fit. Onto the uh, the row, well the second row. So uh, for this to to work e effectively, as, as I said in the beginning, you require two pieces of gear that matches the type. So, like, see this chess piece. I've got two types of chess piece. Um, one is for using PVE, and one for using PVP. But I only use one belt for PvEP and PvE, so um, you will see here um, that there is no um, belt. There's no 106 or 206 because it doesn't need changing. And once you have written the macros, you can always do a quick check to see that the number of lines you've get, um, imported are the same, so in the sets I am changing, 10 pieces of gears are changed. And once you have got the macros written, you need to make sure you have placed them onto the right, uh, sorry, on somewhere to you to to where you decide. And then you can just, um, you know, at a, at a click of a button, you can change your gear. So I'm in PVE at the moment. If I want to change the PvP, you can just change the gear and back into PvE. As you can see, changing gear requires one and a half seconds perhaps with 10 pieces of gear that I have. Um, you need to be sure that during this time you can move, but you pretty much can't do anything else if you get attacked, um, etc. The macro will stop and if it does, you may only have uh, half the set that you require. When that happens, you need to back away from whatever you're doing and switch back into your previous set of gear. And I just take everything, everything off for no reason. Um, uh, that's a very poor example. You need to switch, like say I want to switch into PvP, right? And only half the set was was um, was placed on me. 
I need to go back to PvP, PvE, and then try again back into PvP to ensure that every piece I wanted goes on. And right, so the poor example that I showed you earlier uh, would be if I only had like some of my PvP gear on, and I click on the PvP gear again, I would just be taking off whatever that I have on, and not really, um, you know, having my PvP set either. So that's why you need to go back to your previous set and then onto the set that you require. Um, credits regarding uh, information in this video goes to Jambo. Um, he uh, he run, he used to he, well he runs the site ion.im, um, but um, I think he may have disappeared. Uh, should you have any more questions, you can ask me um, or other people. Um, we I think many of us uh, would be very um, happy to help. Uh, yeah, I think I've covered what I wanted to cover. Enjoy game. Bye bye.